Davenport Buick GMC believes Labor Day is one of the most important holidays of the year. It's the time we celebrate all the hard workers around Rocky Mount who know how tough it is to save a dime. So, we're offering the new 2012 Buick LaCrosse or GMC Terrain for just $239 a month. $239, your choice. Or take $8,000 off Sierras and Yukons at Davenport Buick GMC. Conveniently located just off I-95 and Highway 64 in Rocky Mount. Welcome to Girl Talk Today. I'm here with Connie. Hey, yeah. Connie. Hey, so nice and we are in a fabulous here. place today. It's so exciting to be here with <laughs> Tiffany Huddleston at the train station in Rocky Mount. And I know you're probably thinking, well, where are you going with this in the train station? <laughs> and, and it's a little noisy, so mm -hmm. hopefully you yes, can and hear you see us the okay. FedEx yeah, man yeah. delivering and to we're us. Seeing people it's very active around, so in you here. Can come through, we're over. Very busy, <laughs> lots of people waiting for the train. Yeah. Uh, but we are here, Tiffany has opened up the Whistle Stop shop right here in the train station so that people can come over and visit and have something to do. And I'll tell you what, I've seen a lot of them doing it too because you don't want to just sit there and wait for the train. You want to, if you have an opportunity to shop in a new little shop in a new little area, you do it. But it's not only for people that are getting off the train, it is for uh, us right here in Rocky Mount as well to visit. Because Absolutely. If you, Tiffany, want, if you want something special, something yes. Yeah. Yes. So, so, you can shop yes. locally and okay. anything you need. Exactly. But we're going to talk about the shop in a minute. But first, Tiffany, I want to ask you now, first of all, you work for CenturyLink. That is correct. I work full time for CenturyLink. Full, full time. Yes. That's mm -hmm. Monday through Friday. Monday through Friday. Sometimes Saturday so, and Sunday. Sunday. <laughs> so if that is not enough work, if that's not enough, enough, not enough, <laughs> is not enough, Tiffany decided she wanted to venture out. Why did you want? to open a shop like this? Um, and let me clarify on the CenturyLink. I am on vacation today from CenturyLink because we're down here, it's Friday, mm -hmm. so uh, I would normally be working, but I'm on vacation you so that I can work at my other job. Work. Yes, I have multiple employees. Um, so one of the things that I wanted to do is, um, I've always been interested in a coffee, tea shop, vintage, antique, mm -hmm. and crafters and people who sell. Mm -hmm their wares, like selling at the farmer's market, uh -huh. uh, the Artisan Center, Bel Air, things like that. And so I had been tossing around some ideas. I'd always wanted to have a shop downtown. Um, in fact, when they had the other little coffee shop downtown, I was so jealous when they opened it. I was like, oh man, they beat me to <laughs> yeah. it. And, and I hate that they did not make it. Um, but I've, I've been looking at multiple properties downtown for quite some time, several years actually. And um, around uh, the end of the last year, I had started a, a business called Tiffany's New Vintage, where I would go out to some shows on the weekend with uh, vintage and antique things and some handmade things like we'll get to in a minute. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, just I just love it. I love uh, looking for things and reselling things, and I recycle things through my house like that sometimes. Mm -hmm. I'll find yeah. something, oh, yeah. get it redone, sure. it lives in my house for a while, and then it moves on. Oh, so, exactly. Um, I wanted to, and it's about the community. Uh -huh. So um, I went to Julia Farmer in the chamber, and actually the chamber's up on the second floor here. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't realize that, mm -hmm. along with the Visitors Bureau and Senator Burr's office. Mm -hmm. um, because so went, the train station now is completely remodeled. Oh, it's not, it's I mean, it's been here for hundreds of years, right. but it's totally new yeah, now. It is. And they spent so. millions of dollars back in, I think, 1997 to redo this, and mm -hmm. it's phenomenal. It's one of the most beautiful, beautiful. train stations, Absolutely at beautiful. least on the East mm -hmm. Coast. And so I went to Julia and I said, I want to be near the train station. And the thing that jogged me about the train station was um, I had been to Charleston, not Charleston, yeah, Charleston a couple of weeks before for business for mm -hmm. CenturyLink. Mm -hmm. And I took the train because I like to take the train mm -hmm. when I can. I don't like to drive a lot. Uh -huh. And um, I realized that train stations are very underserved. It's not uh -huh. like an airport where you walk in and you can get anything you anything. want. Mm -hmm. You're right. lucky if there's a vending machine. Mm -hmm. Even in the Charleston train station, the only thing there are vending machines. Uh, wow. And you would think in Charleston, South Carolina, that they would have some beautiful... You would think, yeah. wouldn't you? No, yes. they don't. We have a phenomenal facility here. Uh -huh. So that kind of got me thinking about the business 
near the train station. Right. So I, came, I went to Julie and I said, I want to be in the train station. She said, oh, you want to be near it? I said, no, I want to be in the train station. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and she said, you know what? There's a closet downstairs that we're using for storage. Oh, wow. <laughs> that I bet <laughs> you if you went and talked to, to uh, the city, Peter mm -hmm. Varney at the city, that you could probably rent that closet out. So that's what I did. Uh -huh. So we had now have the Whistle Stop Gift Shop and Cafe, formerly a closet. I uh -huh. think there was another little um, magazine or newspaper mm -hmm. shop here formerly for right. a brief time, so. but it was storage before this. Right. And Wow, well it's come it's, alive now. <laughs> it has. It's a work in progress. There are days when we might have one or two customers mm -hmm. only, um, and, and our goal is to get more local traffic in because uh, we are all about what I like to say, local motion. Mm -hmm. Um, no pun intended. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, for, this should happen now with the redevelopment downtown. We're because hoping. they're working just tremendously mm -hmm. in the right. storefronts. That's right. right. Yes. Downtown Rocky Mount is changing there and is it's such becoming. such a, a, a huge effort underway. Mm -hmm. And if people haven't been downtown to see the new lights that they've turned on, right. and the new sidewalks, and they're yeah. still working on the additional ones. And there's some fabulous things coming up for the winter season oh, mm -hmm. yes. for downtown. Um, and I'm working with some of the the, uh, I've been working with Vanessa McCleary mm -hmm. uh -huh. and um, a lady at Davis Furniture, and we're also working to get the downtown, um, it used to be called the, um, not retail, um, Merchants. Merchants Association, uh -huh. but it's not that anymore. We're also allowing community members, people who live here or have an interest mm -hmm. to, to join as well. So there's a huge effort to bring back because we feel like this the heartbeat yeah. of the city. You know, and if we I don't mean, rebuild it's this, sort of it's, rem it, it makes me think when I was driving down or trying to get here because a lot of the roads are still closed, you know, where mm -hmm. they're still working. But it reminded me of areas that I've seen in other cities that have been revitalized where it becomes large walking mm -hmm. areas. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. And that's so, the goal. That's, if you look at all of the city plans mm -hmm. and, and follow the streetscape, they want to build this back into a walkable right. community. Yeah. You know, where people can live here and there are people that live downtown. There's mm -hmm. some beautiful, beautiful oh, buildings is. down here. The architecture yeah. Oh, yeah. is just gorgeous and um, it's, it's just a such a treasure that we have mm -hmm. that Mm -hmm. If we put the effort in to rebuild it, it's it, it will it will go a long way. And we and a lot of people don't realize that we have just down the road at the ball fields. There's a tournament oh, here yeah. almost every that weekend. That sports complex uh -huh. has been phenomenal. And so we're going to try and get that traffic downtown on the weekends right. because we're open on Saturday and Sunday. So mm -hmm. I take coupons over to the sports complex. I don't know how many coupons I've passed out over the past mm -hmm. few weeks, wow. but that seems to be the best one. Yeah. I think for that's advertising a great way. so far it, to get uh -huh. people in and we're also cross promoting with other small businesses in the area right. um, like Hot Wheels out mm -hmm. on 301. Mm -hmm. I took them a bunch of coupons right. and said hey can you hand these out yeah. when people buy a ticket and they said sure uh -huh. and then right. they gave me a bunch of their coupons for free boat rides and free go-kart oh, yeah. rides that wow. I hand out yeah. in here so uh -huh. it's it's building it's each working other together. Up. The community right. working and together. Same thing with the um, Imperial Center. I gave them a bunch of coupons mm -hmm. for their patrons right. there because um, there are people that come in to Rocky Mount on the weekend, get off the train on Saturday, they go, what do we do? They right. come here just for the day as an adventure. Uh -huh. And the Visitors Bureau is not open on Saturday Saturdays. and everybody else is closed. So yeah. we carry it. We have a lot of the maps mm -hmm. uh, from the Visitors Bureau and a lot of the other city things. So we That's hand them wonderful. out to people and say, hey, go here, check this out. Oh, yeah, and um, because we want people to come to our uh -huh. community, we're proud mm -hmm. of where we live we and are. we want to share that. Super. So that, that's and so it's all about and so within that um, the idea to open this to other people to consign mm -hmm. and it's not a um, it's not a thrift store. How many, <laughs> how many vendors do you have? Um, right now, I think we're up to about fourteen, and I've got a couple of more that we're getting ready to bring in. So we've got um, cupcakes, we've got honey. Uh, so this pops. is an individual. The mm -hmm. honey is an individual. Local honey, right local out of Nashville. Local okay. vendor. Mm -hmm. The cupcakes are a local vendor. Mm -hmm. um, and of course, we can look here. She and and if you're working in in proximity, that you can run over at lunch or breakfast. Um, Tiffany, what are your hours? First of all, we are open from nine thirty to four. 
Okay. Um, we were opening at 7.30 in the morning because we do have coffee and espresso right, right. and tea, yeah. but we weren't getting a lot of the local traffic we thought we would, right. so we had to scale our hours back. Right. So we're open from 9.30 to 4, and we have lunch. We have um, uh, cheeseburgers and hot dogs, pimento cheese sandwiches, chicken salad wow, sandwiches, a cold that. plate. Um, we we now, got are like those the other things day. Did you prepare here? That, well, or, we or are they, restricted or because we don't have a kitchen. Right. right. So some of that is um, frozen, and we microwave, and some right. of it is provided right. by a vendor. Vendors. Right. Okay. So uh, we we do both with okay. that, and we keep it all local. Right. Uh, we work with is anybody local we can as much as as we bring in local. That's we try right. to keep it all local, and yeah. then um, we've got um, handmade jewelry and art and um, knitting and crochet and we're going to do some classes and uh, we're, we tried wow. to put together a knitting <laughs> class on lunch and learn uh -huh. and we didn't we had one person sign up so we're hoping that you know people are still learning that we're here we do birthday parties birthday you know, parties. so if somebody wants okay. to do a tea, tea party in fact we have tea here for the ladies wow so could well, I you, pour you, you guys a birthday a party tea? now where would you do that I mean there's there's very little space inside the shop right we bring we set the tables up right out here right uh -huh. out here we're mm -hmm. at in the so, open this is so the open, nice and in fact for those of you that don't know they do have uh, wedding ceremonies down here as well and and um, receptions so they do rent this out for wedding Oops. ceremonies and receptions here in the lobby. So it is a, uh -huh. this is a uh, butterfly tea. Butterfly. And this is one of the flower no. tea. Mm -hmm. No butterflies were no, injured in we're the not, It's process. not butterflies in it. And you can see the, the, the tea is actually the flower that uh, pops open when it gets hot. And if uh -huh. you would like some honey, mm. I've got some uh, local honey here. Would anybody like any honey? Wow, mm. sure. Wow, yes. Let's mm -hmm. try it, Connie. Yeah. There's a spoon. The tea is you. wonderful. We though. did not right, come right here anticipating <laughs> this wonderful tea and honey. Absolutely, but this is wonderful. Absolutely. And then there's a cake pop for you if you want like a little, little bit something sweet. That's good. Mm -hmm. And the local honey now is Circle Arby's in Na out of Nashville, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, out, out of Nashville. Nashville. So everything's local. And it's all they, this is the spring wildflower honey. So this is they gather honey um, twice a year in the uh -huh. spring and in the fall. So this would have been from the spring crop that they got uh -huh. this from. So they have a little bit different flavors. And and there's also some sugar and um, some stevia over here if you need mm -hmm. anything like that. Um, wow, that and, is really good. Uh, we we. Um, we also have for our coffee um, I, because I am a coffee snob. I'm uh, not snobby about many things, uh, but I'm about coffee. We serve a Colombian Supremo for our regular blend. Okay. And that we will not waver on that. They ran out one week and they said, "Can we give you something less expensive?" Mm -hmm. I said, "No, oh, no, no." no. So now, and, do you sell coffee also? Do you sell the coffee um, or just we, by the cup? just by the? Okay. Can't buy we've bags. also got um, we have real creamer, so oh. we have real half and half, and mm -hmm. we have real French vanilla, mm -hmm. and we have milk because we have ice cream, so we do milkshakes. You do have ice cream. Yeah. We do. That hits by you the when you walk in the door. The by the scoop. <laughs> and if you do not buy a bag of popcorn when you walk in the door, I don't know what's wrong with you because oh my gosh, you when you walk in there, the popcorn and then the ice cream. You look yeah. at the ice cream, and you're like, <laughs> so oh my gosh, ice yeah. cream, and you see popcorn, the cupcakes and, oh, the the cake cake and then these wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful, wonderful uh, gourmet cupcakes. Yeah. We got to take a break. We you know do. what? Time is flying on this program today. <laughs> <laughs> Tiffany's going to be back with us though, with some more things yes. that are in the shop, yes. other than just. Going to show you some wonderful things right yes. after this. Yes. So you stay with us. We'll be right back. It's not the temperature that's hot, it's our hot summer clearance prices at Davenport Honda. Time to get top dollar for your trade and lower prices on new Hondas. New automatic 2012 Civic LX sedans for just $5 a day. That's just $159 a month. Or new automatic 2012 Honda Accord LX sedans, just $6 a day or only $179 a month. Hot Honda clearance at Davenport Honda. Conveniently located just off I-95 and Highway 64 in Rocky Mount. Come aboard the Whistle Stop Gift Shop and Cafe for hand-scooped ice cream, coffee, local honey, jellies, gifts, and more. We are the home to local artists, vendors, and the Rocky Mount Model Train Museum. There is something for everyone at the Whistle Stop. 
While at the Whistle Stop, visit the Twin County Museum and Hall of Fame, the Fire Museum just across the street, or the Children's Museum down the block. Find us inside the lobby of the historic train station. Come downtown and climb aboard the Whistle Stop gift shop and cafe. Osborne Jewelers is the place for fine jewelry and gifts. Large selection of diamonds and semi-mounts. Let Jean custom design a piece for you. Osborne Jewelers has ladies and men's watches by Citizen, Pulsar, and Bulova. And with many other outstanding gift ideas, you're sure to find the perfect gift just in time for Mother's Day, Father's Day, birthdays, or graduation. We can engrave anything and have free gift wrapping. Quality gifts starting at $10, and we offer financing through Wells Fargo with no interest for 12 months. Osborne Jewelers, located in the Harris Teeter Shopping Center, has been serving our area for over 30 years with three jewelers on staff. We offer in-store jewelry appraisals. We repair, engrave, design, and we even string pearls. Think Osborne Jewelers. Davenport Buick GMC believes Labor Day is one of the most important holidays of the year. It's the time we celebrate all the hard workers around Rocky Mount who know how tough it is to save a dime. So, we're offering the new 2012 Buick LaCrosse or GMC Terrain for just $239 a month. $239, your choice. Or take $8,000 off Sierras and Yukons at Davenport Buick GMC. Conveniently located just off I-95 and Highway 64 in Rocky Mount. Welcome back to Girl Talk. We're having so much fun in the train station today at the Whistle Stop Shop. We're here with Tiffany Huddleston. We are having butterfly tea, and this is absolutely divine. It really is. And listen, Thank I'm, I'm going to try ginger. <gasps> I'm going to try ginger Lee. I knew I was going to drop it <laughs> to eat my little um, Now, what are cake? these? Cake pop. They're cake called pops. cake pops. That's a red velvet cake pop. Oh, red I love red velvet, velvet cake. cake. Red and velvet. I made the oh. mistake of breaking mine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so you don't want to break it. Kind. You want to just bite it into it. Mm. How is oh, it? Oh, wow. Is it good? <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> okay. And then with the butterfly tea, mm. I went into the shop and got one of the uh, butterfly rings that we have that one of our vendors here, Belva, paints. She hand paints rings and ornaments and all kinds of things. So I've got a little butterfly They're ring. Cute. And yeah, this we're, is we're going to a couple of the vendors that mm -hmm. are here We're going to meet a couple. Actually. Yeah. This is, now can I get it off my finger? Uh. <laughs> um, they're made out of, they're called Juicy Pop rings, I think, and they're made out of the little pull tabs from oh. like. From the milk carton. Milk cartons. Look at that. Oh, wow, okay. So, and you paint them isn't that cute? to match your, whatever clothes you have yep. on. That matches what you have on. Yep. Yeah. And it's a little butterfly on there. Uh -huh. So that since we're drinking really butterfly tea. tea. Absolutely. Absolutely, look yeah. at that. Well, we want to talk about okay. the, uh, these are so unique. I love these. <laughs> Tiffany makes them along with her mother. Tell us about those, Tiffany. These are, um, and, and I came up with the idea one day, I love uh, shopping in places that probably a lot of people don't shop, mm -hmm. like the Goodwill and Salvation uh -huh. Army, because I can find some really cool, cool stuff in there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I was looking at the skirts one day, and I thought, you know, because my mom had been making aprons, mm -hmm. and I thought, what if we just cut a skirt in half mm -hmm. and adorn it with a little ribbon and maybe some lace mm -hmm. or just the ribbon or some cloth Whatever. for the ties uh -huh. yeah. and make skirts. skirts. So, so I do cute. the deconstruction and my mother does the reconstruction because okay. I'm not the seamstress uh -huh. she is. Okay. I'm very good with scissors and glue and staples and things uh -huh. so she's good with a, a sewing machine. Sewing machine. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. So um, we call them skirt aprons. Yeah. And uh, we, we call them upcycled skirts, and we make them into skirt aprons. And on uh -huh. this particular one, this is one of my favorites here. Mm -hmm. I love this color. This is Isn't for the mom. Yeah. And then we have a matching apron for, for the, the daughter. daughter. And then we have a little bitty teeny tiny apron for the baby doll. Uh, so you've that. got one for mom, daughter, and baby doll. These are absolutely wonderful. Make wonderful gifts. Yeah. And by yes. the way, this this one is is fifteen dollars, which is very Golly, reasonable. Fifteen dollars. And this very is ten reasonable. for the daughter and the little baby mm -hmm. doll. And then this one is twenty. Yeah. And um, they're just they're really cute. A lot of people um, wear aprons like they used oh, yeah. to. Oh, you yeah. know the vintage uh -huh. apron look. 
And if somebody wants them embroidered, we can get them embroidered for you. Um, I know I went uh -huh. down to, mm -hmm. um, or up to DC a, a uh -huh. couple months ago and took one of my best friends one and had her name put on it for her. And Aww. we also have kids' aprons in addition to this one. We have little boys' aprons that have uh, Thomas, mm -hmm. the train on it, mm -hmm. and SpongeBob. And uh, those I don't make. I've got another vendor that makes those particular mm -hmm. kids' aprons. But um, I had one for all of her kids done, so their names on the aprons. And the kids love them because they can wear them for crafts, they can wear mm -hmm. them for cooking. And if they're like my kids, my kids are in the kitchen right. all the time. Yeah. They love to cook. Oh, so. wow. So if you, if you don't have anything to do in an afternoon, let's see, hours again were 9.30 to 4.30, is that 9 right? 9.30 to 4. To 4. Uh, Monday through, so I mean, we're open seven, seven days, days a, week a week right now. Seven days a week. So if you have a chance just to come down, and see all these things. It's wonderful. Shopping. Just now shopping. You've got there. Jim Wordsworth paintings. Yes, Connie, absolutely. Look at that. And I'm going to just show two of these because this is the train station and the and, and a train. train. And everybody around here knows Jim, Jim Wordsworth's Jim. name. Yeah, Believe absolutely. me, phenomenal artist. Limited edition art. Absolutely beautiful. So, and how um, much are they? These are pretty popular here. These two. This is 25. Only 25 dollars. And his larger oh, ones wait. are 30 or 35. And yeah. actually, we've got a, a clay in there that he did of some of the houses. Uh -huh. And these two particular prints, we have note cards as well. So we sell them by the pack and by the individual card. Right. And there's a little write up on the back of the cards if you want a nice thank you note yeah. or note. I sent my mother-in-law one the other day. She said, oh, that's a gorgeous card. Uh -huh. Did that come out of your shop? shop. I said, yeah. yes, it is. <laughs> yeah, wonderful. wonderful. Yes, of course it did. Well, um, we're going to uh, take just a brief uh, momentary pause and then we're going to talk to a couple of the vendors. Yes, here. we yeah, have to talk to the vendors. Makes Tiffany's shop special. So hold on. We'll be right back. Tiffany Holt is going to introduce us now to two of our vendors and let them tell us, you can tell us and they can tell us something about what they have here at the uh, at the gift shop. Right, and mm -hmm. they are really what it's all about because we want to provide a platform for local people to sell their wares where they might not otherwise have a way to sell it because it's very expensive to have a storefront, a lot of overhead, and craft fairs only come along so often and the farmer's market is only open twice a week during the summer so you really don't have a lot of options um, for people uh, that do various things mm -hmm. there are a few options for art but other than that so mm -hmm. next to me I've got uh, Belva Parker and Belva's the one that did this lovely butterfly ring right. I have on yeah. and people love these rings and uh -huh. Belva I'm gonna let you talk a little bit about what the other things that you do okay yes please. Mm -hmm. um, about 20 years ago, my mother came across a little article that showed these Victorian light bulb ornaments. And she made a couple and gave them to her children for Christmas that year. So I, in turn, have started remaking them. And this one is made out of a light bulb, it's a blown oh, light bulb, beautiful? recycled. Beautiful. And then the bottom part is comes from a dishwashing liquid bottle. Oh. <laughs> oh, look at that. How creative. How? And just that. paint them up and, and embellish you did the them. painting. Mm -hmm. now. Okay. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Well, this is uh, like fabric. Uh -huh. It's decoupaged onto the onto bulb, the light bulb and okay. then painted this one the same way. That is so just absolutely unbelievable. Cut out different patterns of fabric. And now you use those. For Christmas or any time of the Anytime. year, Anytime. I have I have one hanging in my uh, bedroom, over the um, yeah. um, on the candle uh -huh. chandelier thing. Right. So, or they so can be hung a as a um, fan pull. Pull. That's yeah. right. Yeah. 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 So very okay. decorative, but and they are beautiful. Thank yeah. you. Mm -hmm. And then I don't know how long ago I started saving these little. There's there's the little pools. There's the seals inside <laughs> uh -huh. of uh, juice, juice cartons, and I kept yeah. thinking to myself, I, I know I could make something out of those, and so this is what I came up with, and for children. For children. And yeah. like this one is um, got Spider Man. Ah, oh, so they're all decorated differently. Well, yeah. I don't think they're just for children because Tiffany wears them. <laughs> yes, and I have the ice cream one that came yeah. in. I, I actually bought that myself, and I wear that one. I like that one too, and yeah. like you know, bling for the little girls. Uh -huh. And Very so, good. and Very then nice. I have, um, I save all my jars, 
and um, oh, go to She's Goodwill to and uh -huh. uh, find the little candle holders. Uh -huh. But this one has been decoupaged. Uh -huh. And uh, of course, some hand painting on it also, and embellished with the yeah. ribbon and the little flower there. Beautiful. And this one is uh, actually hand painted. Mm -hmm. Wow. It's a butterfly. Yeah. It's beautiful. Butterflies, yeah. And something. I don't know if that's a candle yeah. holder or not, but uh -huh. it, <laughs> it fits. It, yes. it, it matched my jar, so All right. that's, that's. Wow. And now, um, Thank you, Belva. And so now we've got Lori Rolf, and Lori and her mother are vendors in our shop. And I'm going to let Lori talk about what she and her mom do. Yeah. Okay. Um, my mom crochets, and she does um, knitting also. And she has started making these beautiful scarves they that you can wear beautiful. like this, yeah. or you can wrap them you around. Mm -hmm. But um, they've got a lot of color, and uh -huh. they're very beautiful. And they're real lightweight, so uh -huh. they're not very heavy. Then she's also um, crocheted these necklaces. And they're just made out of yarn, so they're real lightweight, mm -hmm. but they have a lot of bulk to them, uh -huh. so they look really beautiful with different shirts. Uh -huh. yeah. i got to make a comment about those. Uh -huh. For people who have uh, allergies and can't wear regular jewelry, oh, I had somebody wonderful. come in the other day yeah. and they were saying they wanted to yeah. wear these. That's good idea. Good. Yeah, uh -huh. that is a good idea. Um, yeah. And then me, I make jewelry. Most of it I make out of stone. So, um, like, this is one of the pieces that I have made. Um, uh -huh. And here's another one that I have for sale here in the Whistle Stop. It's absolutely gorgeous. And that takes a lot of talent <laughs> to put all it that. Does. And, and tedious work. And, and she does handmade work. cards, and she Wonderful didn't bring any of those cards. out, but those yeah. are so cute. Yeah. yeah. Wonderful. But yeah. it's all here at the Whistle Stop, and we're really absolutely. running out of time. Because we would love to see lots more, and um, it's something that you have to see. You need to come down to the train station. There's plenty of parking. It's easy to find because it's been here forever, and it's right down at the end mm -hmm. of Main Street. There's no bend. way we could show everything that's no. in that shop. It Absolutely is unbelievable. It and is. don't forget the ice cream, the popcorn, the, the tea, the, the coffee, tea, the coffee, the, coffee, the gourmet dogs. cupcakes, the hot dogs, hamburgers, everything. you name it. Yeah. It's at the Whistle Stop. Come on down train to train your hometown train shop. shop. 930 to at 4 o'clock, seven days a week. A new place to have parties. Oh, so yeah. uh, tea parties for the little Little girls or birthday the bigger party. girls and we'll do parties. theme parties and we'll do train parties for the boys yeah. mm -hmm. or girls and so, um, you know yeah. Red Hat Club Bible well, study mm -hmm. book club yeah. you know get together and come down and have some tea or coffee and we'll be glad to you know we just want people to feel at home and enjoy the local motion here yeah. in Rocky that's Mount. exactly thank right. you Tiffany we've enjoyed it so thank much. you so much thank you this for being been with fun. us yes we'll see you again on girl talk It's not the temperature that's hot, it's our hot summer clearance prices at Davenport Honda. Time to get top dollar for your trade and lower prices on new Hondas. New automatic 2012 Civic LX sedans for just $5 a day. That's just $159 a month. Or new automatic 2012 Honda Accord LX sedans, just $6 a day or only $179 a month. Hot Honda clearance at Davenport Honda. Conveniently located just off I-95 and Highway 64 in Rocky Mount.